United States develop ovarian cancer. And unfortunately, most of these women will have advanced ovarian cancer, which although we have good treatments, in the great majority, the cancer will recur. We know that there is a tumor marker in the blood called CA125 that is elevated and is an early signal of recurrence. What causes huge confusion around the world is that it is not currently known whether there is any benefit from doing this regular tumor marker blood test. What we do know is that it causes huge amount of anxiety to women and uh, also confusion to so, the MRC and the EORTC set up this important trial to compare early treatment of recurrent ovarian cancer, uh, the treatment being started just on a rise of CA125 level alone, versus delayed treatment, which is started based on conventional clinical indicators. And the trial was done by women in complete remission after their first-line chemotherapy, uh, and there were 1,442 women en registered into the trial. They then had blood tests performed every three months for CA125, but the results were sent blind just to the, either the Medical Research Council or the EORTC, and neither the patients nor the doctors were aware of the result. If the levels rose to twice or more the upper limit of normal, patients were randomized either to the early treatment group where the physician and patient were informed and they were asked to start chemotherapy within four weeks or they were, nobody was told the result and they continued on follow-up until there were signs or symptoms of relapse and then they were treated. And the results, what was really quite surprising to some people were that patients who were in the early treatment arm, they started their second-line chemotherapy based on the rising CA125 uh, 4.8 months earlier than those in the ones we waited until they had signs and symptoms. But even more interestingly, though many of these women go on and have third or fourth-line therapy, and the time to third-line chemotherapy was 4.6 months earlier in the earlier arm, indicating that earlier institution of chemotherapy did not induce a longer remission. And this is what so many people out there have been treating patients for. And despite all this, early treatment does not improve survival. There was hazard ratio of 1.00. And in fact, uh, if anything, slightly decreases quality of life. And this is partly because women in the early arm get far more chemotherapy in their lifetime. So what does this mean for women with ovarian cancer? Well, for the first time, women can be reassured that there's no benefit from early detection of recurrence uh, by routine CA125 measurements. And they can be told that even if the CA125 rises and they're well, Chemotherapy can be safely delayed until they have signs or symptoms of recurrence. So for the first time ever, women now have choices, informed choices, to be able to decide. And in fact, most of my patients now, when I give them this information, they say, we do not want routine CA125 measurements, but I inform them of the signs or symptoms that will suggest recurrence, and if you have any of those, you go quickly and have your blood test. Majority of women, in my experience, want that option. But if you do want to have regular CA125 measurements, as some women do, that will continue, and, but at least they now know that if the level goes up, they do not have to rush straight into chemotherapy. So we are giving women a lot more information to help them cope with their disease. Thank you. And we'll be answering questions at the end.